All right, welcome back. So the first thing we are going to do is uh, create an online store. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Shopify, but I will give you a, a brief rundown of what Shopify is. So Shopify is one of the largest uh, e-commerce platforms. So what Shopify allows you to do, so it's similar to a Wix or similar to a Squarespace or WordPress. It's very similar to those um uh, those different software is that you can basically set up your online store um, and and they have templates. They have a bunch of stuff that um, that you are able to kind of like pick from to customize it. So you don't have to hire a web designer. So they have different templates. They have different resources on how to set it up. So Shopify uh, is is going to be the the it's it's made for e-commerce, right? It's made to sell. It's one of the biggest platforms for that. So you can do. Um, you can do uh, uh, Shopify, you can do um, Squarespace, you can do WordPress, you can do Wix, but Shopify is built specifically for selling. And I've used it for, for such a long time and all the big companies use it. So I highly, highly recommend it. So I provided a link below. So when you click on the link below, you are gonna be able to, below this video, you're gonna be able to set up a free 14 day trial. So completely free, um, you don't have to worry about anything. When you click that link below, um, you can set up a Shopify account for 14 days for free. So what it is, is I'm gonna show you kind of like the pricing structures of what it is. So when you guys do decide to do it and you're gonna see how inexpensive it actually is. So they have three different uh, packages. They have basic Shopify, they have Shopify, and then they have advanced Shopify. So what I would recommend, I would highly recommend setting up the $29 a month. I mean, that's, that's very, very good to start. Um, you can see the different uh, the different um, features that they have for the different programs and the different um, kind of like levels up. But 29 is way more than enough to get started. Um, and it'll give you all the support and everything that you need. And um, yeah, and then you can see the different features. If it's something that you want to do that you, you think that you may need the $79 a month one, um, then by all means, sign that up. But for right now, um, just go ahead and, and sign up for that $29 a month. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to kind of set up the store. I'm going to show you the layout. I'm going to show you how to create the free templates. I'm going to show you how to create the, the payment processors. I'm going to show you how to link your products up. But we're going to break down the entire thing. So what you're going to do is when you click that link below this video, um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to create an account. So we're going to go ahead and create an account. Um, okay, your store name, let's do online course. I know that wasn't going to be available. Let's do um, Curio, Let's see if this one's available. Cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your store name. Now the store name isn't too important for this step because you could always change it. Um, but I would just do something um, that, that represents your brand or represents your company, set something up like that. Uh, go ahead and create your store. So after you fill out all this information, what it's going to do is it's going to actually create the store. So it's going to show the back end. It's going to show how to set up everything. And I'm going to go over the dashboard and what that looks like. Uh, after you set this up, what it's going to do is it's going to send you an email. So it's going to send you a confirmation email. Sometimes it gets rerouted to spam. So just make sure that you check your spam folder to make sure that you're not missing anything. But what it's going to do is just like any other software it's going to make you confirm your email address. So before you're able to do any of the selling or do anything like that, you're going to have to confirm your email address. So just make sure um, that you are able to just keep an eye out in your inbox to make sure that, um, you don't miss the actual email. So what it's going to do is it's going to prompt you through a couple questions. These aren't, you know, really that important. Um, this is more for their records and stuff like that. So it says, what are you selling? Um, I'm not selling them just online. It, it has a couple things. So you could put, I'm not selling products yet. Um, what is your current revenue? So to ask you exactly kind of like what it is that you're selling. Um, and then this just gives them an idea. Cause if you, if you're, you know, a new store, then you start selling, you know, $200,000 a month, it's going to probably flag you. So this is just kind of to give them a heads up of like, okay, how much kind of revenue are you expected to start selling? Um, and this can change. It's, it's not going to block your account or anything like that. This is just kind of to give them a heads up of kind of what services and stuff that they need to provide you. 
um, and then just go ahead and say this. Uh, if you're doing this for a client, so this is also something that you can do if you if you want to start an actual, you know, uh, business creating online stores for different people, you can do this as well. And you could do, I'm designing or developing this store for a client. But for this tutorial, we're not going to do that. We're just going to set it up as if we're setting it up for ourselves. So then it's going to ask you to put in some information here. So after you enter store, I'm going to go over here to my email address to see if they sent it yet. So they haven't sent a confirmation email yet, but it's all good. I think it'll have to send it after I get all of this stuff uh, kind of inputted and set up. All right, so this is what it looks like. So this is your dashboard. Um, this is kind of where everything is gonna be, where you'll be able to see everything, right? So you'll be able to see the total sales right here. You'll see the total sales breakdown, uh, the sales by channel. So if you set it up on Facebook or if you set it up on different sites where you have like a buy now button, uh, top products. And then right here, it'll show you all the payouts. So this will show you exactly when uh, these you're expecting payments, right? So um, I think they schedule it out every like two days or so. So everything that you sell today, uh, would be transferred to your account in like two days. Uh, and then what it does is you can set it up to go directly to a business bank account. So if you have a company bank account already, you can set in the, the your information there so it gets sent there, or you can create a PayPal account. PayPal, especially in the beginning, is the easiest way to do it because you can set it up. There's no like real requirements. You just create your account um, and set up the payment processor. So it's gonna show you all the activity to here of like everything that's going on with your store. It's a lot of useful tips here too. So they have like a, a, a free one-on-one -on -one Shopify training to help you get set up and start selling in minutes. So these are like more of detailed breakdowns of exactly how to use their software, uh, anything to, to do with like shipping and selling and, and things of that nature. And the cool thing about this section here is stuff will update all the time, right? So you'll see some different blog articles on, you know, how to sell products for Christmas, um, how to optimize your store better. There's like a bunch of stuff here that that will be uh, relevant to you that kind of like they update all the time. So down here, it'll show you that you are uh, on a trial. So right here, it'll allow you to select a plan. So if it's uh, if if so for the free trial, we're able to set everything up and get everything situated, but you will not be able to sell until you pick a plan. So you have the free 14 day trial where you can set everything up, get it all kind of like working test your site and everything like that. But when you're ready to launch, you're ready to sell, um, you're going to have to select a plan. But again, I mean, $29 a month, this is like the best plan to be able to set everything up. So, um, you can access it all the time. It'll, it'll, this bar stays here at the bottom. So you'll be able to know exactly where to go to set up the plan. So we're going to go through the different tabs so, so I can show you exactly how to navigate uh, the back end of this. So you're going to have orders. So in your orders tab, of course, you can't see anything right now because um, we haven't selected a plan, but all your orders will populate here. So it'll show you the order number. It'll show you the name. It'll show you their address. It'll show you what they ordered. You could click on their account to view ordered history so you can see exactly Exactly what they ordered, how many times that they've ordered. Um, you can track the entire thing to see where they landed on your website. So you can see if it came from Instagram, if it came from Google, if it came from Facebook, whatever the case may be, you can see where they landed. Uh, and then it shows you literally all the details about this customer and the breakdown of what that looks like. Uh, in abandoned checkouts. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow when somebody comes to your site, they add some, some products to um, the shopping cart and they enter their information, but they don't check out. All of that information is still going to go here. So you can send up follow-up emails. So say somebody puts a cart in and a hoodie is like $80. What you can do is you can set up an automated email that responds to them and says, hey, we noticed that you didn't check out. Here's 10% off your order. Um, we really want to make sure that we provide a good experience for you or something like that. And that increases conversion rate. So it'll, it'll send them an email like an hour after they visit, visited your site to be able to say, Hey, here's 10% off. Um, click the link and it'll go directly. It'll pull up their order. They could check out. So it's, it's a really cool, powerful tool to be able to see kind of who's on your site, but, but who's not purchasing. Um, here is the product section. So you'll be able to see all the different products here. Uh, this is going to show you all the different products that you have set up. And we're going to go later in this section, we're going to go through on how to set up and coordinate and link all of your products together. So you can have a dashboard here of everything that it is that you're selling. 
Um, you have inventory, you have different collections, you have gift cards. So say if you want to create a gift card um, to to send to people that they could redeem on your store, you can do that. It is available on the Shopify or Shopify advanced plan. So this is a $79 one or the $300 one. So just take that in consideration. Um, here, right, right here is all your customers. So this will be all of your customer tag. Um, so everything, you know, all your previous customers will be here with all of their information. If you are coming over from a different website, say if you're, if you've created a spreadsheet or if you have Squarespace, or if you've, um, if you just have contacts of previous customers, you can import a CSV file here so you can import them and, um, you could upload all of your, your customers here in the database. <clears throat> Here's where you'll find all the analytics. So this is just going to be basically all the things that are happening with your store from sales to visitors to returning customers to average cart value. All of the information that you need about your store is going to be here. This is such a useful tool because you can really analyze what's going on and then you can check the dates, right? So you can set it up for, um, you know, the last 30 days. And of course, we don't have any information in here, but it'll it'll pull up all the information for the last 30 days. You can also compare it to a previous period or previous year too. So you can see how well your store is doing, um, if it's performing better or if it's performing worse. And then it gives you an idea to be able to analyze and set everything up. The reports tab is, is similar to what that is. It just has different reports. So you can see sales over time. You can see sales by product. So you can click on this and you can see exactly which which items are selling um, better than others, right? Better colors, better sizing, stuff like that. So it's, it gives you a really helpful way to analyze your store and to be able to just see where all your products are going. Live view is pretty cool. So when you start having traffic on your site, uh, you can click on this and it'll actually show you a live view of who's on your website currently all across the world. So you'll be able to see the little pins right here. This is us, of course, um, but you'll be able to see all the little um, pins dropped on where visitors are. So you can see how many visitors are there, how many total visits, how many orders, how many sales. Um, and then in real time, you can see how many active carts, which means how many people have items in their carts that are on your site, how many people are at checkout, and then how many people purchase. So it's really cool to just kind of see the, the needles pop in and out of just kind of where your, your visitors are coming from and what that looks like. Um, marketing is cool. I mean, there, there's uh, a way that you can integrate Facebook advertising and marketing within Shopify. I have not used um, this before, so I don't know exactly how it works within Shopify. We actually run Facebook and Instagram ads directly through Facebook ads manager. So I have a full course on that um, as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can see exactly how to bring traffic to your site once you get everything set up. Here are discount codes. So this is good for, you know, like I said, to, to email those customers with the abandoned cart that haven't uh, checked out to give them a 10% off. Or if you want to send some stuff to your friends or you want to do a Black Friday discount or you want to do a Christmas discount or whatever the case may be, you can actually create discount codes here. It's very, very easy. You click on create discount. It'll ask you for the name. You could either do percentage off. You could do a fixed amount. You could do free shipping or if they buy X, they get X. So basically if they buy one product. They get this other product for free. Um, you set up the value here. You let them know who it applies to their minimum requirement. If they need to purchase, you know, say $150 to get this coupon code, then it works there. Um, this goes to everyone or specific groups or customers. You can limit this to, um, how many times a discount so you could say okay this can only be used 10 times or you can limit it to one per customer you have the active dates of when it starts and then you have the active dates of when it is going to um uh when it's going to expire so those are the discount codes now for apps this is this is really cool right so um uh they they have a ton of different apps that integrate into Shopify, right? There's a, a ton of different other companies, right? It's, it's, it's other companies that created third-party integration. So it allows you to integrate into your Shopify store to build out this massive, like this empire of just stuff of from sales to marketing, to email responses, to order managers, to product reviews. There's tons and tons of apps. And when you click on view Shopify app store, I mean, they have a ton of resources of what you can do to plug into your store. Um, I mean, these are just some of them. They have staff picks. Um, they have uh, basically spin to win. So it's like a, a way to be able to create 
um, fun, engaging stuff on your site. They have bold upsell. So when somebody buys one thing, you're able to kind of like upsell them on a new thing. So there's just a bunch of different categories, a bunch of different stuff that you can integrate your Facebook in there. You can integrate your, um, your Instagram, you can integrate, um, Shopify. I mean, um, uh, uh, Facebook messenger also point of sale. So point of sale allows you to, um, basically if you're, if you're doing trade shows or you're doing in-person things, it allows you to set up an app and where you can actually get one of these card readers. You can take your inventory to the, the show or whatever it is is and you could actually run payments and sell stuff from there and take credit card payments. So it's really cool of how you can you could kind of set all this stuff up and create a completely <clears throat> digital e-commerce store but then also integrate it into um, the real world and, and do real events and, and things of that nature. So um, we're going to go through a couple different settings. So if you go down here and go to settings, these are some of the settings that you have. You have general payment providers, checkout, shipping, files, notifications, locations, taxes, storage or sales channel, account, billing, and legal. So we're going to go through a couple of these, some of the, the main important ones that that uh, that you guys will know about. And you guys could click on here and kind of uh, mess around with some things. But if you go into general, this is where your information is for your store address. So this is what will show up on people's um, statements. And so this will show up on uh, everybody's um uh, when they purchase, if, if they need to kind of like if, if something gets returned or if um, they where the, the actual product is shipping from, all of this address and all this stuff will be provided here. Um, so it's good to just make sure that all your current information is up to date. Uh, payment providers, like I talked about in the beginning, you can have payments go directly to your bank account. But I would highly recommend to not set it to your personal account to actually create a business bank account. Sometimes that's not the easiest way to do. So what I would recommend, especially if you're just just starting, go ahead and shed, set up a PayPal account. So just go to PayPal.com and you can set up a business account within, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, uh, if not quicker than that, that'll allow you to be able to accept payments. So the way PayPal works, for those of you that don't know, it just works as like an online bank account. Uh, and, and so what you're able to do is when somebody makes a purchase, it gets transferred to your Shopify account, I mean, to your PayPal account. And then from your PayPal account, you can transfer it to your bank account. After, I don't know, they change it all the time, but after a certain amount of time, um, you can apply for an actual debit card from your PayPal account and they will send you a card that you can actually use that card as like a debit card, like your ATM bank card. So you don't have to keep transferring it to your account and you can keep all your business kind of funds in one account. So super helpful to be able to, um, to set that up. So I'd recommend, you know, setting that up um, and your payment options there. Um, some other stuff is like notifications. So you can put in your notifications of like order confirmation, order canceled, um, fulfillment requests. So these are all basic. What it's going to do is it's going to give you like basically like stock email um, templates and stuff like that. So it'd be like, oh, thank you for your order. Um, your order is shipping out and we'll get to you soon. But if you want to go in here and customize any of those emails or responses, this is the place to do it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much, um, the gist of, of how this, this whole process works and kind of like this online creation. So in the next section, we're going to go over free templates, how to actually build out the site, um, to, to be able to customize and start, uh, uploading and plugging in your pictures and images and actually start, uh, getting people to, uh, to come visit your store. So I will, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.